Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club. Um, today I am making a layout for uh, the challenge, the weekly challenge. I'm using the April kits, so I have the main kit, the pocket life kit, the embellishment kit and the colour kit too. Um, I'm making a layout today for the colour challenge which is yellow, pink, dark pink and aqua um, which happens to go perfectly well with these April kits of course. Um, so um, I was determined to use the um, Maggie Holmes um, crepe paper sweet story um, paper that cuts apart sheet and I had um, an idea in mind that I would use these four um, pieces, squares, um, from the cut apart sheet um, as the basis for my layout because they were those exact colours of the colour scheme. Um, and I was hoping for a grid design, so I was hoping for four, um, four of the squares in the middle and to add my photo as well. Um, I've also determined to use the um, strawberry paper, so the photo that I'm planning to use for this layout is of me eating, no, of us cooking and eating scones um, and they have jam on so I thought the strawberry paper would be ideal so I really really wanted to use the strawberry paper and these four squares. That was my plan and um, I spent a long time faffing around with the design. I was not happy with however I organized it so in the end I had to turn off the camera and go away and spend some time working out exactly what I was going to do. I was really unhappy with the original grid design. I couldn't bring in the strawberry paper. It was just too busy and just never looked right um, against what I was trying to achieve. So I eventually came up with this idea that I would um, use the really lovely rainbow paper as background so I could just see um, a few of the colors. Um, and uh, use a piece of white as my main um, area and have all of my um, squares from the cut apart sheet clustered over on the left hand side. Um, and then I plan to have a small cluster over on the right hand side too. And this was just making me much, much happier than the original grid design that I had um, decided in my mind that I was gonna go for prior to making the, prior to even starting the layout, I had that in mind. Um, and I just couldn't make it work. So um, so I reverted back to this um, really beautiful rainbow paper. It's one of my favorite papers, um, but um, I'd already cut some things from the middle of, of that particular sheet. So I just had the border that needed to be used. Um, so this was an ideal opportunity to use that border. Um, I have, uh, my background doesn't quite cover up all the holes I made, so I need to put something over at that top edge to cover it up. Um, and um, I've stuck all my um, layers of those squares and my photo in place. <coughs> I did that um, by kind of lifting them up slightly and putting a bit of tape under and sticking down and then adding a bit more and so on until I kind of got everything mostly in the right place. So I'm pretty happy with how it's um, looking. Um, I have distressed the edges of all of these squares. I've mounted my photo on a, on a piece of the strawberry paper. So I did get the strawberry paper in, um, thankfully, but only a very tiny amount of it. Um, I'm gonna have to have another look at that paper and see if I can um, use it um, in some way. Because I really wanted to use it, but unfortunately I just I just couldn't make it work uh, on this occasion. Um, so you can see that I'm adding in a couple more photos. So I have these really tiny um, square photos, they're smaller than my normal size. I have one big photo as well, so the big one is kind of uh, about 4x4 four four, and the small ones are about 2x2. Two two. Um, so um, quite a size difference and I had <coughs> initially I just had the one big photo and then I thought I'd bring in these smaller ones as well. So um, I wanted to bring in three but I couldn't quite make three fit properly so in the end I just used two. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just um, kind of rearranging, playing around with my um, my elements that I've got on my page. Um, <clears throat> I know I wanted to use the strawberry, um, large strawberry uh, piece of ephemera um, on my corner of my photo there, so I'm trying to work that in. I've um, mounted my small photos on the strawberry paper as well. Um, so a bit more strawberry paper there, hurrah. Um, and um, I've pulled a tag, um, I think that's from the ephemera, I don't think it's from the cut apart, no, it's definitely ephemera. So that really lovely yellowy um, tag 
I've brought that in to go on the right hand side of the layout and I'm going to group a photo there too um, and um, I have another tag as well also from the ephemera um, a smaller one that um, I'm going to group with that little section over on the right hand side as well so just getting all my photos and bits and pieces stuck down um, when I first um, sorted out this design um, I hadn't worked out where uh, sorry I hadn't stuck a single thing down so I'm just going through and doing that now so I first started off by sticking all of the bits onto the um, edge of the layout and now I'm just con putting together the background as well so the card the white cards don't need to be stuck to the um, to the border um, the one with the rainbow paper so that's all just being um, stuck in place now I think um, I forgot to um, distress one of the edges um, which is a bit of an accident um, so I'll have to go back and sort that out in a minute um, and I'm still fiddling around with um, with things here and trying to make it as I'm um, trying to make sure that I'm really happy with the design I want it to look layered and clustered but not too um, overcrowded um, so it's a bit of a difficult balance um, and by the way I g always gut the middle of my papers um, to make sure that um, the design doesn't show through the white cardstock um, but also so I can preserve the, um, the middle part of the paper although not on this occasion because I'd already used um, I'd already cut bits out of it um, but when I did this um, I ended up with some tape showing through um, so my layout was sticking to the table so I've just turned it over and stuck some regular tape over the top of the sticky tape it was double sided tape you see um, so I've just stuck some tape over that so that um, that doesn't, doesn't stick to my table anymore or more worryingly to other layouts when it goes on my layouts pile <laughs> um, or in the album um, so um, yeah still going here I'm just going to now construct that cluster over on the right hand side so I have my um, tags, I'm just tying some gold um, thread through those. Um, I just loop it through, loop it through a few times and uh, secure on the back with some tape. So I'm just um, doing that now, getting those in place and then adding the two tags to the side as well as my uh, photo as well. And now I can carry on embellishing um, around that. But you can see the structure of the layout is coming together really well now. Um, I'm still um, can debating whether to use that other photo, but in the end I decide against it. Um, and um, I'm now just going through the ephemera, going through the chipboard, working out if there's anything else that I can add to this layout. I obviously need a title um, and I definitely need some other embellishments because I like to use lots of embellishments. <laughs> um, I really love these um, stars that are on the back of the rainbow paper and um, they're kind of like washi tape stars almost um, and um, I've got a reasonable chunk of that um, paper gutted from the inside um, that wasn't uh, cut with cut file already um, so I was able to fussy cut out a few of those stars and I'm just using those as extra embellishments um, on the layout um, okay, so having a look at the um, sticker sheet, um, these gold bows, I'm absolutely in love with these gold bows. I do love a bow, that's something that I've learnt about myself recently. I don't think I had any particular tendencies for anything other than maybe hearts and stars, um, but I really, really do love a bow. Um, every time there's bows, I'm like, oh, excellent! Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I was really happy to have these gold bows, and anything gold, of course, is a winner as well. Um, so um, I've, I have to be careful with them. Um, I got a bit carried away with the uh, ones from last month, the um, crepe paper magical forest ones. I'd used ev I've used every single one of them, um, and now I've got a whole load of um, crepe paper magical forest uh, to use, and I don't have any bows left. So I'm gonna have to buy another packet. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna try and be more sparing with these ones. Um, and uh, I've just used one on this layout, whereas I think I got a bit bow happy, and uh, used several of those. Um, those are the ones on my layouts. Um, okay, so having a look at the Cartabella um, flowers now, um, just having a look at the puffy stickers, sorry, and uh, putting out some flowers that will go well with this layout. Also having a look at the uh, chipboard, that's the Maggie Holmes um, 
sweet story chipboard that obviously goes with these papers that I'm using um, and um, I couldn't resist using the word sweet um, because we're having a sweet treat a scone lovely um, and um, I really want to add the word scones as well so I've got the title sweet scones um, but the only other thickers I've got are silver which are fabulous but I've used gold and yellows on this layout so silver wasn't ideal um, and pink and pink's a beautiful color but they're both sets are quite big um, and uh, I needed my title my second word so I've got the word sweet obviously which is pretty huge um, and I needed the, sm the next word scones to be much smaller so I debated whether I should put it there at all um, or uh, if I should delve into a previous kit and see what thickers I could find um, from previous kits um, so I'm just parking that issue for the moment and uh, waiting um, until inspiration strikes <laughs> um, so I'm just adding um, some gold thread twiddles to my layout so just a couple of them tucked under the photos one over on the right hand side as well and one up the top by the chipboard yellow flower uh, where the corners um, where there's right angles have been formed by the different squares on the layout. Um, I always love a right angle because it's a great place to put embellishments. Uh, look for right angles on your layouts. Uh, they are absolutely ideal to uh, add embellishment clusters to. Um, okay, so this is where I realized I forgot to kind of distress the edges. I didn't forget to distress them. They just weren't very well distressed. Um, so I needed to rough them up a bit more and fold them up. And because I don't have any nails at the moment because of the um, pandemic restrictions I can't get my nails done um, I only have natural nails shock horror I haven't had those for like 20 years um, so um, normally I would use my nail to rough up the edges a bit extra uh, or bend them up slightly but I can't do that at the moment so I had to um, think outside the box and I kind of like use a spatula uh, which um, which worked just about okay um, so now I've just I fell in love with that black and white um, sticker that was on the Cartabella sticker sheet. Um, I've already used the word sweet uh, from the Maggie Holmes chipboard in black. It gives a real pop of drama to the layout. I really love how it looks. So bringing in the other black and white uh, striped sticker, border sticker, uh, was, was brilliant. So I saw that and thought, oh, I definitely have to get that in. It'll go really well with my title. So I've now added the word scones in pink. As I say, the pink shade is perfect but the size of the thickers is not. So that's come straight back off again and I've gone for these older thickers from last month's kit, so from the March 2020 kit. Um, they are Amy Tan and they have uh, some white and some blue, um, but they're a really small font. So um, I have gone back a kit and stolen some thickers uh, from that kit to write my second word of my title, so scones. So sweet scones is my title. Um, okay, so over on the right hand side, I'm just adding in a little tiny bit of journaling. Uh, Sophie and I really enjoyed making scones for the first time. They tasted good too. And that's me done. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, please do go and join in with the colour challenge over on the Hip Kit Club group on Facebook. Uh, there's a voucher in it to be won. Don't forget that if you are a subscriber, you uh, get the main kit at a reduced price, a 15% discount on add-on kits, and you get access to exclusive cut files. Um, and we have great challenges too. Um, okay, thanks so much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club.